Hi, this is Joel Mayer. Here is a project to make a giant lighthouse. This project is ideal to make with a group. To facilitate the explanation, I will divide this project into three parts. The cliff, the tower with its base and the lantern. Start by creating the cliff on which the lighthouse will rest. Recycle a cardboard box from a fridge, another household appliance or a large piece of furniture for example. Draw a shape that represents the top part of the cliff. The area where you are going to put the lighthouse must be at least 7 inches or 17 centimeters wide. With an exacto knife, cut out the top part of the cliff. Take the slice of cliff you have just cut and draw its outline on the cardboard but slightly increase the dimensions. Then cut along the line. Continue this way to make slices that all have more or less the same shape but are bigger and bigger to represent the shape of the cliff. If necessary, number the slices of your cliff as you prepare them. You need about 10 layers of cardboard. Take your 10th slice of cliff, the largest, and put white glue on one side. Take the 9th slice of cardboard and glue it on the 10th slice. Then put some white glue on the 9th slice and glue the 8th slice of cliff on it. Continue this way until you have glued the 10 layers of cardboard on top of each other to form the cliff. Let dry thoroughly. When the cliff is dry, paint it in a color of your choice. I decided to paint the sides of the cliff in grey to represent the rocks and the top in green to represent vegetation. Obviously, I could have painted everything grey. After the cliff, you are going to create the tower of the lighthouse. Begin by making the rocky base of the lighthouse. Use a small paper plate and a cardboard ball. Place the large tube in the center of the paper plate and trace the outline of the tube. Cut the outline of the tube from the center of the plate. Check that the tube fits in the hole in the plate. Now take a cardboard ball, place the tube in the center on top of the ball and trace the outline of the tube. Start by removing the flat edge of the ball. Then, cut out the outline of the tube from the center of the ball. Check that the tube fits in the hole in the ball without any problem. Put white glue on the inside of the ball and glue the ball centered on the small cardboard plate. Let it dry. When the glue is dry, paint the base of the lighthouse in grey to represent rocks on which the lighthouse stands. Take the cardboard tube and paint it completely white. If necessary, put two or three coats of paint. Let dry completely. When the large tube is completely dry, draw lines at regular interval along the tube to delineate horizontal sections. Next, use masking tape to protect sections you want to keep white. Paint every other section in red. Put two or three coats of paint for a nicer finish. When the paint is dry, remove the masking tape. Do not hesitate to use colors other than white and red if you want a more original lighthouse. It's time to move on to the lantern of the lighthouse. Cut a circle from thick cardboard. The circle should be a little larger than the diameter of the tube. Then cut a narrow ribbon of construction paper and glue it vertically on the edge of the cardboard circle. When the glue is dry, paint the base of the lantern in the color of your choice. Take the pattern of the lantern and trace it on construction paper. Cut out openings in the cardboard strip to let the light from the LED candle go through. Paint the strip with the openings in a color of your choice. 
let it dry well. When the paint is dry, glue a strip of yellow cellophane on one side of the lantern. Then form a tube with the lantern so that the cellophane is on the inside. Cut out the pattern of the circle that will form the roof of the lantern. Cut along the line that will allow you to form a cone. Paint the circle in a color of your choice. Then glue the cone together with white glue and allow it to dry. Glue the roof on the lantern. Let it dry completely. You now have all the necessary parts to form the lighthouse. Just assemble them all. Take the cliff and glue the base of the lighthouse on the flat end of the cliff. Then insert the tube into the hole in the base of the lighthouse. Now glue the base of the lantern centered on top of the lighthouse. Place a LED candle in the center and finally put the lantern on its base. And now your lighthouse is complete. If you like this project, you might also like a small version of the lighthouse which is available on the Anima Place website. To print the illustrated instructions and pattern of this project, click on the link below the video and visit the Anima Plates website to find hundreds of other fun and educational projects.